Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. The end of the school year always comes with uh, some mixed emotions, especially for those who are graduating. And in Elginac, not only are they graduating their seniors, but they're also saying so long to interim superintendent and former high school principal Brian Bruton. So Brian's my guest this week on Dateline Schools. And, and Brian, you, you didn't come into the superintendency as in the usual way. Tell us how you ended up here. No, um, it happened last June. Uh, our former superintendent, Mike Shero, he took a job with the Midland Public Schools. And when he did... Uh, the Board of Education weighed their options on getting a new superintendent. And what they had found out is that really isn't the most advantageous time of year to be finding a superintendent. Usually by that time, those searches are over and the candidate pool is a little bit shallow, if you want to say that. And so they were given the advice that they should probably wait until the spring of the following year to find a permanent superintendent. And so I was approached by the Board of Education to ask if I would do this on an interim basis. And uh, after some lengthy discussions and uh, talks with my family decided that uh, it'd be the right thing to do for the district to help them get through until we were able to find a permanent superintendent. And I know for most superintendents, they do come from either an uh, administrative position at a building or maybe central office. So, I mean, so that part isn't really unusual. Yeah, it, it was. It's been advantageous. I've had a lot of administrative positions with the district and been with the district for 12 years. And so the, the transition was difficult because you never truly know what that person does until you sit in their chair. Um, but it was a tad easier because I do know the personnel and work with them um, in a different variety of jobs before I got here. So you've been in the job for about a year. Uh, did it plan out and work out the way you anticipated or a lot more different than what you thought? It, it, like I said before, you never truly understand what a superintendent does until you sit in their chair. Um, it, it, it was a very, very educational process. It was something that was a great growth and learning experience for me, um, gave me great insight to what it takes to run a school district. It's a very, very complex thing that relies a lot on teamwork, and there, there's a lot of people that have great importance that, that put this game together and so it, it has been good it has been enjoyable also quite challenging as well too somebody think you're gonna drop your hat back in again soon uh, you know to, to be honest with you terry i think probably later in my career um when i get maybe to the last 10 years or so of my career something that i think i'd like to pursue again but until my children are, are grown and out of school and on their own i think it's something that is probably going to be um in probably about another 10 15 years out for me Back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.